Hello everyone, my name is John Ray. For today's video, I will teach you how to do mail merge in Microsoft Word. Let's get started. Microsoft Word is a well-known word processing application. One of the great features of Microsoft Word is mail merge. But the question is, what is mail merge? It is a feature that allows you to create documents and combine or merge them with a data file. Ibig sabihin, ang mail merge ay merging ng document and data file. Based on the definition of mail merge, kailangan natin ng dalawang bagay. Una ay form document in Microsoft Word, and data file in Microsoft Excel. Form document is a document that contains the body of the message that we want to convey. It can also be in any document such as certificate, report card, etc. For this demo, I will use a request letter as our form document. As you can see, may mga information na nakabracket sa ating document. Ito yung mga label ng data na gusto nating ilagay. Pero, pwede yung itong hindi gawin. For me, this is a good practice para hindi ka malito sa pag-merge ng data. Next is data file. It includes the individual information or data that you want to insert in your form document. Ibig sabihin, ito yung file kung nasaan ang information na gusto nating ilagay sa ating form document. For this demo, ito ang mga data na gusto nating ilagay sa ating form document. Ang first row ang header ng ating data. Ito rin ang mga label na nakabracket sa ating form document. Ito ay makakatulong sa atin upang malaman natin kung anong klaseng data ang ilalagay natin mamaya. I will now show you kung paano natin gagawin ang mail merge sa Microsoft Word. First, open your form document. Tulad ng sabi ko, pwede itong maging letter, certificate, report card, etc. Once you open your form document, click the mailings ribbon. From there, Look for Start Mail Merge and click it. May kita nyo na may iba't ibang options para sa mail merge. Pero, ang lahi kong ginagamit sa kahit anong form document ay letters. After that, click Select Recipients. May kita nyo that you have options to type a new list or to use an existing list. Since meron na tayong data file, we will select Use an Existing List, then may lalabas na window. From there, hanapin nyo na ang data file na ginawa nyo, then click Open. Then click OK. Mapapansin nyo na pwede na nating i-click ang part na ito. Let's try to click Insert Merge Field. As you can see, ito yung mga header ng ating data file. At ito rin yung ilalagay natin sa ating form document. What we're going to do is to highlight yung label sa form document na gusto nating emerge sa data file. Let's start with the name of the school. Highlight it and click the bottom part of Insert Merge Field. May kita nyo yung mga data na pwede nating ilagay. Since name of the school yung papalitan natin, so we will select Name of School. At yan ang gagawin natin sa lahat ng labels 
na meron tayo sa ating form document. Now we're done inserting merge field. The question is, paano natin malalaman if tama ang pagkakamerge ng ating data? We need to click Preview Results to see if tama ang pagkakamerge ng ating data. As you can see, tama ang data na minerge natin sa ating form document. You can click the next button to check if all the lists in our data file were successfully merged. Meron tayong limang students sa ating data file. Kaya, may lima tayong results na makikita. Since we're done checking, we can now finish and merge our form document. Click Finish and Merge. You will see there are several options under it. I typically choose Edit Individual Document, but you can also print it directly or send the document via email. For this demo, I will select Edit Individual Document. Then select All and click OK. As you can see, it created a new document, which includes all the merged documents. For this demo, we only have five recipients. You can now save this as a new file. You have a choice if you want to save this in docs or in PDF format. Madalas, I choose to save it in PDF para hindi ma-edit yung mga data. Click the file ribbon and click Save As. Select the folder where you want your file to be saved and rename it. For this demo, I will change the file type to PDF. Then click Save. Let's check our merge document save in PDF. As you can see, the PDF file is fine and you can print it if you want. That is how you do mail merge in Microsoft Word. Pwede nyo itong gamitin sa iba't ibang klase ng documents like certificates, report card, etc. I hope this video helped you on how to do mail merge in Microsoft Word. Please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you on my next video.